Tonight at 6, there has been a lot of talk about the opioid epidemic in our community. In fact, so far this year, 105 people have died from drug overdose in Ada County alone. According to the Sheriff's Office, the majority of the cases involved middle-aged adults, and that could be changing. Tammy's here to tell us more about a recent case that involved a 16-year-old, and this is startling. It is Mark, the Boise girl. She overdosed in her family's home last week, and an Ada County deputy arrived there and was able to use Narcan to save her life. Narcan is a medication used to block the effects of opioids, and deputies have been carrying it with them for about two years now because of the need. Here's what happened on the evening of November 29th. It took several minutes. Uh, with the family being there watching, it was pretty gut-wrenching knowing their kid um, potentially may not come back from it. I was able to uh, administer the second dose, which uh, in conjunction with the first was able to reverse the effects of the opiate. The nasal inhaler Narcan brought the 16-year-old girl back to life. This was the first time an Ada County deputy like Jason Bacola has used it. Uh, we're on the road 24 hours a day and uh, essentially the fastest first responder to get there will administer Narcan and hopefully reverse the effects. In 2017, all nine canine units in Ada County started carrying this box with two doses of Narcan inside. We as canine deputies are around narcotics our whole entire shift. Um, and so we are more common uh, to be able to come in contact with opiates and other, other narcotics, uh, as well as the dogs. That means carrying Narcan can also be a lifesaver for deputies and their canine partners like Django. Pacola says the need for this is getting more evident here in the Treasure Valley. Since I've been running a, a narcotic detection canine for approximately 10 years now. Uh, within the first three years of running the dog, I, I saw heroin uh, a handful of times. Um, I'm finding heroin weekly and that's across the board with every canine in Anita County. So it is becoming a problem. It's definitely becoming an epidemic. His advice is get help for loved ones you believe could be addicted to opioids like prescription pain relievers, heroin, and fentanyl. He also urges parents to talk with kids early about drug abuse. It's never too early to start talking to them. If you're not talking to them, somebody else is. In this recent case, the Ada County Sheriff's Office says a 16-year-old overdosed on heroin. She got with her 20-year-old boyfriend, Marshall Schrick. He has been arrested. Again, this is the first time an Ada County Sheriff's deputy has administered Narcan. Paramedics are usually first on the scene of a drug overdose. According to Ada County paramedics, they have administered Narcan over 70 times so wow. far this year. 70 times, Mark. Wow. Just incredible that he said he's around narcotics during his entire shift. shift. He said we all are. Yeah. That's how widespread it is. Yeah, and a good reminder too that Narcan can be purchased at pharmacies here in town in the state and healthcare professionals they recommend that if you have a loved one that you think could overdose mm -hmm. on an opioid to have that just in case.